Welcome back to the channel, Reasonable Search, where I analyze police interactions with the public. I also analyze sovereign citizens and 1A auditors due to the danger they are to the public and law enforcement. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Today's video is from Delete Laws, and I'll compare cop watching versus auditing for those interested in having a not so bright future. I also talk about how auditors are dangerous to the public featuring a New York City auditor, Easy Cameras On. Thanks for watching and I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section below. So I just saw some cherries and berries come on and I, it's funny, I pulled around and I put my headlights, you can see where I'm looking. I put my headlights here and they turned around and taken a look at me like three or four times. But I didn't want to get out of the car because there's no need to get out yet. There's just cherries and berries, no one's stuck in the car. But there's three or four cars over here. So I'm not really sure what's going on. But as you guys know, when I see the cherries and berries, I just start recording. See, they keep looking over here at me. You know, you people should understand. You people, that used to mean something different. Now, the general population who's not activists, that are not involved with filming cops, you may not understand. When someone, there's another cop over there. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I think they're filing a complaint of some kind. So the cops aren't investigating them. Oh, that's a reflection of the cop lights. But, uh, let me just drive over there, see what's going on. Yes, cop watching will cause people to look at you. If you're a creepy middle-aged man in a van, and I live in a van down by the river, recording what you see from public, a reasonable person will be guarded. But that's okay. Prepare to shame people who ask you why you're filming them and let them know it's your God-given right to exploit them in public for financial gain. This is cop watching. It's technically boring because the emphasis is watching, not talking. You know, I was talking to somebody recently about the difference between cop watching and auditing. And what I'm doing here right now, this is more of a cop watch. I'm not auditing them or critiquing them or talking about the rule of law or the Constitution. I'm just cop watching. I'm extraordinarily thirsty. They activated their emergency lights, and that's what's going to attract somebody to go there. There's a lot of reports here. Let me look around. Go on this one. It's a lot easier cop watching, isn't it? It's a lot easier cop watching than, than auditing. I can tell you that. You get to sit in your car. You get to sit in your car when you're cop watching. AC could be on. I could listen to a little bit of music, but as you know, YouTube will probably be on the video if I do that. But they're all so confused why I'm filming them. I wonder if they know why I'm filming them. If you struggle with keeping a conventional job, you may be able to earn a little income from cop watching. <laughs> Loser convention. <laughs> and I say little income because when you deduct the cost of bail bondsmen, lawyers, gas money, be prepared to live in your van. If you have nothing to lose because you're already at the lowest point in your life and you have to pick between cop watching and audits. If you don't like jail or handcuffs, in my opinion, it's better for people just to watch and record the police from a distance. Police are often conducting seizures under the Fourth Amendment, and they don't need an angry little man approaching them. He's an angry elf. If you have a bigger ego than you are tall, and like confrontation, and desire to be handcuffed, let's take a look at auditing. Did you address me? Yes, I did. I said, you can record all you want. Only you come over here, you'll be obstructing my investigation. 
and I'll put you in the rest. You go to jail, right? You could do that, but then I would sue you again. I just sued you guys for five million. Did I'll you? sue you for five million more if you touch me. Okay. I can walk anywhere I want, anywhere all around here, and if you touch me, I'll sue you. You'll be listed in the federal civil rights lawsuit guns cap. I'm a constitutional law scholar. I'm not just some regular person here. I'll sue your ass until oblivion. Well, he shouldn't have addressed me. I, I, was I being respectful? Was I being respectful? I didn't say a word. If you hadn't addressed me like a dunce cap, you wouldn't be put in check right now, son. I might want to step back. No, I don't. But no, I can walk anywhere I want on a public sidewalk. I'm literally a member of the press filming you. If you hadn't addressed me, you wouldn't be in school right now. If you choose the auditing game, it's best to have a persona and catchphrases. Make unsubstantiated claims. For example, say you're a scholar, regardless if you've never excelled scholastically and you've written no thesis, and you've written no peer-reviewed articles. What sick human being came up with something like this? If you're already a raving lunatic, perfect, you won't have to act. If you're not, which is rare for auditors, pretend to be. Trust me, you'll get more views. I'm just telling you, you're, you're not interested now in having a conversation. Oh, you're, you're not, you're not interested. Okay, fine, let's talk about getting rid of your torture cuffs and going to some kind of detainment that's humane. So that when you're gonna put somebody in torture cuffs for 15 minutes, they don't leave here angry with you. Was, I'm not listening to you, you're crazy. Was he in cuffs for 15 minutes I, right now? I don't know, it's not the point. You don't understand. We have such a divide, okay. you're not willing to give any concessions with us. Every time I talk to any of you, I've been doing this for a long time, dude. I say, hey, let's have a real conversation about getting rid of those torture cuffs. You know what you'll say? It's right. out of my pay grade. Can I have a conversation? Sure, sure. So, I do think that we could do something like a flex cuff yeah. for certain Something people. that doesn't hurt people. Okay. And, I, and I'd be open to that with different types Give me your card, dude. Sure. You're the first one ever in the history right, that well, actually wants so to make I'm a patrol. I'm not a specialized detective. You will often run into an officer that may want to bridge the gap and have a cordial conversation while you're auditing. That sounds reasonable, but don't fall for this trickery. If these officers try to be peaceful, this is not good for your channel. You could be labeled a bootlicker. Instead, Turn the conversation with aggression, and if possible, make sexist remarks. You really don't want to fix any problems. Watch how Naturally Delete Laws does this. Pigtail, you are you got some good looking pigtails in here. All right, so you are, dude. You no, you chicks, the chicks right. on LVMPD. No offense, don't 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 take it the wrong way. Sure. You're hiring some good looking women on LVMPD, so, huh? So <laughs> do you still want to have a conversation? Do you feel disrespected because I think you're good looking? Is it sexist to notice that a woman is good looking? You don't face me at all. Really? I'm extremely bored, obviously. I am? Yeah. <laughs> Watch my channel, honey. <laughs> okay, so would you like to continue our conversation or are we going to be done? No, if you want to actually get somewhere and actually get rid of the sure. torture cuffs so we can actually right. bridge the gap between how much people hate uh, you guys and so that you know, so, I can be nice. So you know all about our department, right? I know a little bit about your department, so yeah. So do you know one of the steadfast like slogans of our department is to partner with the community? No one does it like Chile, and he's going to be running for governor in a state to be announced at a later date. Now let's look at Easy Cameras On. This is no laughing matter. Easy Cameras On created an altercation over parking at a hydrant, which escalated into a woman being knocked out. Ma'am, you can't be parking next to no fire hydrant. It's an emergency. On the delivery. Yeah, it's an emergency. Somebody, look at those plates. The right to record, that's what I'm doing. What? The right to record. I got thousands of followers watching you right now, park next to a hydrant. No, 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 let's get back. I was waving at her like this. Look, I was like, take a picture. Maybe you're gonna sit here and follow me. But now she goes, she 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 moved from there. That's all that matters, you know what I'm saying? Because now somebody's safe. She's an EMT, so she should move better. If you knew better, you do better. In front of your million, million followers, so that people can leave your page. That's right, there you go. So they can leave my page. There are more people they love you right now. Your side. I save people's lives. What do you do? Humiliate people on your page. People that save people's lives. This is an EMT worker. This is an EMT worker. Yo, call the police before I rock this. I'm about that. You saw that? I'm about to rock and rock you. Touch me again. I'm gonna... She spit on me. You gonna spit on me? You gonna touch me? Yo, dude, you knocked her out. I'm staying right here. I'm staying right here. She not supposed to hit up nobody. Period. Not supposed to hit me and spit on me. I got proof. It's all on my film. Causing an altercation over a parking stall is the same as two road raging drivers fighting over a parking stall. Easy Camera On created this confrontation by not minding his own business and continues to escalate until he knocks this woman out. I don't condone her actions, but the issue is that this is excessive force and not self-defense. The force he used would cause substantial bodily harm up to death. All for an incident that could have been avoided 
by him not interacting over a parking space. There are still people in the auditor community that don't get this and support what he did. Touch you for one second. Easy didn't do anything bad. Okay, okay, this is coming from a woman that was on the stream while that event happened with Easy. And to see this hatred and vitriol in the chat in regards to that, stop it. You never know what you will do in any given circumstance. No one will ever know until they're in that circumstance. When you're attacked, okay, and you're, you know, someone's coming at you, your response kicks in, it's fight or flight. So I don't think, you know, what Easy did was wrong in my, in my personal opinion. I would have done it. Because, I mean, if we're going to use the term in this day and age, well, I'm going to use it in this day and age. People are nuts. <laughs> People are nuts and you never know what could happen. So if someone's going to attack me, if you bet your life, I'm going to like do everything in my power to stop them from hurting me. Or if they're going down, if I'm going down, I'm taking them down with me. That's it. End of story. No, and that's it. I mean, people are saying because she was a woman. No, 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 no. She was, she was vicious. She was vicious and he warned her. He warned her. And that's where people are missing that. that, that that's a big piece. That's a big piece that people are overlooking. It's Auditors need and thrive on confrontation and need violence and arrest to add to their credibility. Easy Cameras On has apologized for his role in this altercation, but the auditor community still condones this violence. And that's why these auditors are a danger to the public. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section below.